Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Wendy's. I feel like new food comes out so fast that I feel like I'm always behind the trend. And I don't know how to fix it. It's like, I just tried the Jack Harlow meal yesterday. Today I'm trying the new strawberry Wendy's Frosty. Um, and I just feel like new things are coming out all the time that I'm like, I can't even keep up with it. But um, we are always doing food reviews over here. And then I do like some vlogging every so often. So if you guys like that, make sure to go ahead and hit the little subscribe button. Join our family. We've been getting new subscribers like every day. So that's pretty exciting. So if you guys want to join, that would be amazing. So yes, today we are at Wendy's and I'm excited. I have never tried, a sh I mean, it's new, but like I've never tried a strawberry frosty. So I'm intrigued. I'm interested to see if I'd like it. I just wanna like dip my fries in it. That's what I want. I wanna dip my nuggets in a strawberry frosty. That just sounds so good. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. There's no other way to start this. I just got out of church. I feel like I'm having such a good day. I went to go do a Dutch Bros mukbang and I didn't realize Dutch Bros was only coffee. And so I was like, I'm gonna do that another day. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. Can I have a chocolate, please? No worries. Um, could I have a four for four? Trying to get this off. Yeah. Could I have ranch and could I have a diet coke? Ranch and diet coke. Anything else for you today? Yes, please. So could I have the new hot honey chicken sandwich? Just the sandwich with the combo. Um, I think just the sandwich. And then could I also do a small strawberry frosty and a small chocolate frosty? Okay. And I think that'll be it. All right, pour out for me, please. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I just got a lot of food for not that much. That was $13. That was a lot of food. I will take it. I'm in such a good mood. I do have to pee. TMI. So I'm probably gonna get the food and then probably go run into Wendy's. I tell you guys way too much. Like, there is just way too much information that I share about my life. Maybe I should reevaluate this. Like you guys are not my therapist. Speaking of too much information, you guys know that I'm on Hinge. That's not, that's not a secret. Also, there's something on my camera. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. I don't like that. Good. Right. Uh, anyway, you guys know I'm on Hinge. This morning, some guy literally messaged me. I do a very good job at trying not to disclose YouTube on my hinge because for some weird weird reason guys find it like guys will find you 10 times more attractive if you have followers I don't know what it is, but it actually drives me freaking crazy. It drives me up a wall It's like I see it in their eyes the moment they find out I have a YouTube channel It like it's like a switch where all of a sudden they're like 10 times more interested in you and it drives me berserk I actually hate it. It's like one of my pet peeves and so I usually tell people I'm a video editor I'm not lying. So that's usually what I say. Um, and so, anywho, so this guy, and I do a really good job at like trying not, like I don't disclose anything. It's like pretty hard to find me. Like if you m match with me, it's really hard to find my social media because like I do a really good job at like not really disclosing, you know, any real personal information. This guy today goes, um, he says, what is it? He's like, hey Courtney, I'm gonna delete this app. I added you on Instagram, love your YouTube channel. <laughs> First of all, how did you find me? That's creepy. I do not like that. It's just creepy. Um, and I so I literally wrote, I was like, how did you find my Instagram? Don't love that. Haha. Ha. Like it, in a playful way. But I don't like that. That's creepy. That's creepy because what that means is you reverse Google searched my photo. That's exactly what that means. He took a screenshot of one one of my photos, put it on Google, reverse Google searched it, and was able to find my Instagram. I don't like that. Ew! Creepy! Freaks me out. Hi, Hi. Perfect. Uh, yes, please, actually. That would be really nice. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great one. Yeah, you too. Okay, fingers crossed that there is a spoon. <laughs> I really hope there's a spoon. Okay, we're just gonna go. Oh my God. 
Wee! I have no clue where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Woo! That was such a pothole. My life just flashed before my eyes. That was scary. Okay, this is good enough. Why not? So we're trying a new tray idea. While I get the setup, we will be blaring the AC. We got one box, and then we have my Bible. No, we'll do the Bible on the bottom. Bible. Just a random book. <gasps> Wait! Wait, this looks really good actually. And it's like semi-sturdy. I feel more comfortable than the other tray, that's for sure. <gasps> What the heck? Yeah, semi-sturdy. Not the sturdiest, but it actually will work. I'm really excited about this. What? Wait. Wow. What the heck? <gasps> and there's a spoon. <gasps> what is the setup, y'all? I think we figured it out. We figured out the setup. This is definitely the way we're gonna go. Dude, I feel like the lighting just got so worse. Hold on. We're going to try to do this without everything spilling, so just give me a moment. Hold on. Oh, please don't let anything spill. Okay, I got my thumbnail. Now, let's try the food. I'm so excited. First, we're going to go ahead and try the strawberry frosty. So it is a little melted. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can, oh, it's probably too bright to really see. It is this beautiful freaking baby pink. It actually matches my nails. Almost perfectly, actually. That's so cool. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. 10 out of 10. Wow. Okay, that's actually super freaking good. What the heck? I'm not used to having a tray this tall. I'm not gonna lie. I hope you guys can see me. Okay, I'm impressed. But is it gonna be good once you dip your fries in? Comment down below if you guys do this too. If you guys don't do it, you have to try it. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is so bomb. Yeah, that's super good. I am very happy. The strawberry, like as soon as I found out that there was a strawberry frosty, I had to try it out. I was like, I need to know. I feel like they've had this before. Am I crazy? I feel like they've definitely had this before, but on a hot day like today, like this is exactly what I want. I feel like I'm gonna pig out in this video because I'm just hungry. Just overall, I just got out of church. I really haven't had anything today. And this Frosty is amazing. I love Wendy's. Wendy's is very much the place for me. I also went ahead and got a chocolate Frosty. Weirdly enough, this one's not as melted. So maybe they made the strawberry one first. Yeah, this one's so frozen. Seriously, on a hot day like today, this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna dip my nuggets in to the chocolate frosty. You guys can make fun of me all you want, but if you, ah, we're good. If you guys haven't tried this, you really gotta try it. Mm-hmm. For the most part, I feel like dipping pretty much anything that you get at Wendy's into a frosty is now socially acceptable, which I appreciate. I feel like a few years ago, people probably would have looked at you weird. Nowadays, I feel like a lot of people do it. Yeah, a lot of people do it. Also, going back to the conversation I was having, the whole hinge thing. It's not that I like try to hide the fact that I'm a YouTuber. I just want people to get to know me for me before they have an idea of who I am, you know? Because, I don't know, I just, I don't want them to think that they know who I am 
because they've watched a few YouTube videos, you know? Also, nothing is more awkward than meeting someone and having, like, they feel like they already know everything about me and I don't know anything about them kind of a thing. Like, in the sense of dating, you know? I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I hope I'm not coming off as, like, oh, I'm too good, like, blah, blah. I just, like, I don't want people to have this idea in their head of who I am in the dating world until they actually get to meet me, you know what I mean? Like... I don't want social media to be something that I don't want them to feel also I don't want them to feel intimidated like some guys feel intimidated when they like meet me and stuff and I don't want them to I want them to feel like they can be themselves I want to be myself I don't know I don't know and then I also like I don't ever want them bringing up YouTube on a date like I don't want I don't know I just want them to get to know me YouTube is what I do for a hobby. It's not who I am. And sometimes when people find my Instagram, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But that's just how I feel about it. I just wish that guys would get to know me for me. That's why I make it so hard to find my Instagram. Also, so I got a junior cheeseburger. I didn't realize that it came with onions. So it has, here, I'll show you. Here we go. Yes, there we go. So it's just like the patty and then, yeah, it's like a meat patty, cheese, onions, ketchup, mustard, pickles. It's not the most like aesthetic burger, but it's good. That's all that really matters if you think about it. So good. Ooh, they also gave me ranch. We have so much food. I haven't done like a mukbang, like I think this big before. Oh, I'm so happy. Usually I try to keep it to a few items. I'm happy, today's gonna be such a good day. Comment down below how your day is going. Hopefully it's good. If someone's having a bad day, let's do some encouragement down in the comments. So this one right here. Yeah, so this is their new spicy hot honey. Yes, we love it. Sorry the light is so harsh today. But so we got the, okay, we have the bun. And then we have the chicken. And then we have a slice of cheese on there. We have bacon, oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm sorry, what is that? Is that like fried pickles? It's fried pickles! You're joking. I love my life, I love my job. What is this? Okay, there's no sauce on it that I can see. It's just, I have to give you guys a, a closer look, okay? Like and it actually has fried pickles on there. I'm sorry, what? We gotta give this a taste. I wonder if the chicken's actually spicy. It's spicy. It's not as hot. I think this video is getting posted first, but I filmed a video where I went, well, I don't know. I did the Jack Harlow meal and I tried their spicy chicken sandwich and I got like super sick. <laughs> it was so spicy that I got sick. I was out for the rest of the day. I, it was not a good day. It was not, it wasn't good. The chicken is definitely spicy. I'm wondering if they like, if it's something in the breading I'm imagining, cause there's no sauce on it. So it must just be like a spicy like breading or like a spicy seasoning that they put on it. It is, it is very spicy. But with a Frosty, whenever your tongue is burning, like a Frosty is like perfect for that. I would give that also a 10 out of 10 if you like spicy things because it is very spicy. Heads up, like very, very, very spicy. Oh no. I'm making a mess over here. I always do though. Like my strawberry frosty is 
so melted. It is so melted. It's okay, but it's very freaking good. I would say like, I really like this. I would give this sandwich right here, the spicy chicken, definitely a 10 out of 10. I will say, I don't think it's something that I would typically get when I go to Wendy's because I'm a big fan of their four for four or their five for five. <laughs> These are all like, wow, they sound weird when they come out of my mouth, but I like those deals where you can get like the nuggets, the fries and a burger. That's just me. I don't know if that's just me being cheap or what, but I just, I love their 4 for 4. I think it's so awesome where you can get a sandwich, you can get fries, you can get nuggets, you can get a drink. It's just everything that you want at Wendy's, you just get. Not just me. And then we went ahead and we got a Diet Coke. Always. We always get the Diet Coke. Okay, it is a Diet Coke. I tasted it first, I was like, mm, is it? Because I told you guys, I can tell the difference between like Diet Coke or Pepsi. I'm loving my life right now. Don't mind me, I'm just having such a good day. Like, today I just like saw a bunch of people at church and everyone was just like so, just sweet. Like everyone was just so nice. Also, I think there was supposed to be isn't there supposed to be honey on this burger? Or this, sorry, this chicken sandwich? I think it's in the middle. I don't think I've gotten to taste it yet. Like it's only when I can literally show you. So here's the top bun. All of the honey is like right here. Yeah, what is up with that? It's all in the middle, so I can't really taste it yet. I'll have to get into the middle. Hold on. Let me take a big... I only think it's going to be so unattractive. I'm going to take a big bite out of the middle. Oh, I'm going to get this all over my face. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now you taste it. That's really good. I was going to say, I was like, I thought there was honey, and I'm not tasting any honey. I mean, the cheeseburger is nothing special. It's on the four for four. It is not going to be luxury by any means. I want to finish these nuggets. These are where it's at. I'm going to dip it into the strawberry because I haven't done that yet. Oh, the strawberry is so melted. Mm. I don't think I like it dipped in the strawberry as much. That's just, that's weird. The chocolate is good. Not into the strawberry frosty. Do not recommend that one. I'm trying to see if I have any other life updates and I don't think I do. Life is great. I'm trying to enjoy the pool while I have it. I'm getting a new desk. And so some girl is coming this week. I need to like edit like crazy because I need my desk. But this girl's gonna come and she's gonna buy my desk. And so as soon as I move, I'll have this really nice one. I'll put a photo of what it looks like. It has like a little pull out. I'm very happy about that. Cause I'm sitting at my desk, like I film probably two days, um, like two days a week. And then the other like three days, I'm just sitting at my computer, just like getting editing done and stuff. Dude, I don't even know what to eat. There's so much food in front of me. Yeah, we're gonna do. I definitely recommend dipping your nuggets into the chocolate frosty. It's very delicious. But other than that, I feel like life's been pretty chill with me. I don't really have any crazy new updates. Also, happy Father's Day. So when I'm filming this right now, it is Father's Day. So let me know what you guys did down below. Did you guys do anything fun? For me, um, I don't get to be with my dad this year because um, I'm in Tennessee and he's in Pennsylvania. But just in general, like I'm not like the closest with my dad. We maybe talk like once a month or something like that. But I texted him this morning and he got his gift and all that stuff. And so I'm a little bummed that I don't get to be with him today. But 
I can't go home for like every single holiday or else I'd be going home a lot. It is what it is. But I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys did for Father's Day down below. I know a lot of people are like going out. They're going fishing. If I was home, that's probably what we would be doing. We'd probably go out on the boat because it's such a freaking beautiful day out. My dad has a pontoon boat which it is so fun to be able to like get to go out on the boat. We always go to Moraine State Park. Shout out, if you guys know what I'm talking about. We always go there and it's just so fun like to just go out on the boat. Honestly, swimming sounds amazing. I'm hoping at my apartment complex today, like no one is there because of Father's Day. I'm kind of hoping like everyone went home, everyone's spending time with family so I can kind of get the pool to myself because today at 102 degrees, that's what I want to do. I want to go sit by the pool. I want to tan. Oh, I just keep fake tanning, and it's just not the same. Okay. I think I need to cut myself off. I've eaten all the nuggets, half of the strawberry, half of the chocolate, almost all of the fries, almost all of the junior cheeseburger, and probably a fourth of the hot and honey. Let's see, there we go. Like a fourth of that. Your girl's full. I really need to stop eating because I do not want to get sick like that Jack Harlow video. That was bad. I like fell asleep for the rest of the day. Like I was done for the rest of the day. It was not a good day. That is for sure. Well, I mean, it was a good day, but it definitely sucked just being so sick. Like, I don't know the combination of the foods. I just don't think sat well in my stomach. So anywho, I'm going to cut myself off. I love you guys. You guys are seriously the best. Also, let me know what Dutch Bros drinks you guys want me to try down below. Okay, bye.